Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. Miller's Art Room. Today we have a very special project that is going to be an artwork based on Jackson Pollock's splatter paintings. This picture I'm going to call Fling, Flick, and Splatter. When Jackson Pollock worked, he worked with a lot of action and motion. And he allowed the paint to be what it is. Paint on the surface of his canvas, and in our case, paper. We're going to be utilizing a variety of colors and a couple of special techniques that we don't often get to use in art class because they're not very traditional methods of applying paint to the paper. I'm going to show you all the best ways to do this and some no-nos that we're not going to be doing. And after that, we're going to get started right away. Everyone is going to be given a large piece of paper just like this. Everyone is also going to be able to utilize paint brushes and all the different colors that we're going to be utilizing, this happens to be yellow, all the different colors we're going to be utilizing are going to be separated at different table stations so that when you're ready to go to the next color and I'll let you know when it's time to switch stations, you're going to pick up your pa painting like a hot pizza then you're going to walk it over to the next color station and then you're going to get to utilize those colors. What's important is that we have to make sure that the paint brushes stay with the paint colors. Now, in terms of how we do this, there's a couple of things that we're going to need to know. First, I'm going to go over the techniques that we're going to use. First is fling. Flinging the paint is basically getting the paint on your brush like so and you're going to whip it like you're casting a spell you're going to hold the brush just like this not like a pencil but like a wand and you're going to fling it fling it fling it now this is going to make a mess and that's why you're going to see that I have a special table covering I'm going to fling it fling it now the next move actually you know what I'll do this with three different colors but you're going to have about four or five different colors I'm going to fling a couple of times, and notice that if I go to the left, it makes a diagonal or horizontal line. If I fling it straight down, it makes a vertical line, and if I fling it to the side, it can make some other marks. Also notice that there are lines and splatters everywhere, these little flecks of paint. Well, that's going to add to the look of our picture. The next move we're going to utilize is something called the fling. Now what you're going to do for the fling is you're going to get your brush loaded with the paint and you're going to hold it like a wand like you were doing before but this time you're going to bend the brush back a little bit and let it fling. You're going to fling the paint. Make sure that it's aimed directly at the paint. If you get a little paint on your hand, if you get some on your clothes, it's not a big deal. It's easily washed off and it's easily washed off your clothes with a little bit of soap and water. The next technique that we're going to be utilizing is splatter. Splatter, this, is, this looks like splatter, and in fact it is splatter, but with those fling and flick techniques. But when I talk about splatter, what I'm going to talk about is actually holding your brush straight up and down like a pencil. And then you're going to push it down, push it down. You're going to stop before you touch the paper, just like that. You can change your directions just like this. Mr. Miller, you said there were certain things we shouldn't do with the paper. That's correct, Mr. Monocle. One of the things that you should notice is that my brush and my hands never touch the paper. This isn't going to be like regular painting where we brush on the paint with our brushes like we normally do. We're using the brushes to fling, flick, or splatter. So, don't actually paint on the paper. You don't actually even want to touch the paper until I tell you to pick it up and take it to the next station. What other things should we not be doing? Well, certainly, I don't want to see anybody take their hands and smear the paint all over the paper. And what else, Mr. Miller, should we not engage in? Well... One of the things that we need to make sure that we do is make sure our paint is hitting the paper and aimed at the tables. We are not going to be flinging or flicking or splattering paint on each other. If it happens accidentally, that's one thing. But if you do it on purpose, 
What will happen, Mr. Miller? If you do it on purpose, you will be put in timeout. No, not timeout. Yes, timeout. Make sure that you don't fling, flick, or splatter paint on each other on purpose, or Mr. Miller will set you in timeout. That's correct, and then you're going to have to watch everybody else having fun with their paintings. After we're done, we're going to need to pick our paintings up like a hot pizza again, and we're going to set it in the back of the room like we usually do to let it dry. You're not going to be taking it home today, but after we're done letting it dry, you'll get to take it home then. Thank you all very much for uh, following along and watching this video, and for Mr. Monocle and I, we say good day. We said good day!